Okay, that's, that's tough. All right. Well, we got to begin with what a person who the liberals consider one of their star ministers. Maybe health minister, these star ministers. Yeah. Maybe the Jane Philpa, health minister, seventeen hundred dollars a day mm -hmm. to rent a limousine from a guy who, whose company he owns the company, and he was a volunteer Even to in her you, campaign. That seems like a lot, does it not? Seventeen hundred. Yeah. Well, yeah. It seems like it's a lot for, for a lifetime of limos. Uh, now, she said she won't do it again. Yep. The guys offered to pay the money back, but, you know, I talked to Charlie Angus of the NDP, and he says, mm -hmm. you know, this is, quote, the liberal kryptonite, right, which is entitlements. How it much is. trouble is she in? It is. Well, you know, if, let me give the silver lining just for right. fun, because it is awful what happened there. It's bad. Uh, it's in the summer, so the House isn't sitting. They can't spend two or three days going at her in question period. It's early in the life of the government. And Jane Philpott... If anyone has, in the scant time that they've been in power, built up a bit of, a bit of capital that she can expend foolishly this way, it'd be her, right? She got great right. reviews as a minister. She's sure. seen as a mentor to and people. And, and you know, it so, just doesn't fit her persona. Right. But still, dumb. dumb. does she have to pay? Dumb. This is the key, though. Remember, because Bev Oda had issues, yeah. not only with the limo, but the $16 yeah. glass of orange juice that culminated and, yeah. and ended up sort of being the trigger to end her career as a politically. Does Jane Philpott, is it, would it be smart for her just to pay back the money? Rather than taking the money back from the, because what looks yeah. like it's going to happen is the right. company's going to give it back. It won't come out of her pocket. It'll be reimbursed by the company right. to the taxpayer. But if she pays looking. it back, is that the smart, does that cauterize the wound? That's interesting. You're saying it's a fine distinction there. The right. taxpayer needs to get the money back, right? That's the key yeah, thing. Right. So I think that if there's going to be any cauterizing, it, that's how it's going to happen. But this, you know, this is what happens. Even for a government flying high in the polls, these yeah. are the things they got to watch yeah, for. Absolutely. All right. Meantime, there's that number six, the sixth entrance into the conservative leadership race. Brad Trost from Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. He is a very social conservative. Uh, he's been relegated to the deep back benches yeah. by Stephen Harper. Finally said, why do I need to wear the muzzle? I mean, I'm going nowhere. Yeah. I'm going to actually be, I'll get reelected, and I'm going to run for leadership on behalf of these values. Is this the reawakening of the social conservative movement? Social conservative, and let's, and let's be clear. It's, it's a Christian evangelical wing yes. of the conservative party. Uh, That's who he represents. This has always been a problem uh, going back to 2002 when Stephen Harper, if you recall, was the secular conservative candidate against Stockwell Day, right? There's always been this tension in the party. One of Harper's uh, accomplishments, if you can call it that, was was keeping that under wraps, keeping right. that they voted, down They, he, they voted degree. for him, but he didn't give them anything. No, and he, they accepted the fact that he kind of wasn't right. against them, even though he was not letting their, their issues percolate to the top. And what are their issues against? Call spade here. It's abortion and same-sex marriage. No, same-sex okay. marriage, they tried to get out front of that one in Vancouver in the recent con convention. Hard to put that to rest when guys like Brad Tost are coming out and talking about it. I think it just ra it raises the question, whoever becomes the next leader there, they got to stitch together. That's part of the yeah, coalition. Absolutely. And it's a valid and, and, part of the coalition. Let's right, not but Brad Trost is saying, valid. we will not be the silent part of the coalition yeah. anymore. I don't know how much traction he gets. He has no yeah. chance of winning, but that's a powerful constituency. Very interesting. And, yeah. he, and we'll see where that goes. Finally, look, we, we got to talk about the Tragically Hip, obviously. Yeah. Um, is this a sad or a happy story? It's sort of sad because of Gord Downey's health, celebratory because of the national coming together around their concert tour, right? Downey is a, you know, what he does is, you know, he, people that, you know, in blues bars who can just pound back the beers yeah, like and him. people who have PhDs can all yeah, sing the yeah, same yeah, yeah. Uh, music. That's so interesting. Uh, and it's just such a great uh you know, he's, he's kind what of like the soundtrack. What do you think of the PM going to? Is, is this yeah, a, that's the thing. That so true. Cool I, that he's going, or you, got, you know what? This is yeah, I do. I think I think the prime minister would go because this is a quintessentially Canadian moment. Right. It really is. Right. And if there is, a, if, if there's hockey uh, and there's music, the tragic part of it. Gotta not politicize it though. I have it be. It's it's this interesting where prime minister to straddle being sort of a national figure yeah, of I sorts, agree. a quasi You don't want to cheapen it by taking... You don't want to make it a partisan point-getting thing in any way. You also right? don't want to take sure the spotlight away from the band sure or from Gord. Care. No, no, yeah. you don't. But you know what? For me, been the soundtrack to a huge part of my life, I'm sure for you, for so many people. And what I would just say is, you know, we cover politics, and what yeah. we don't see, the, to quote the great tragedy of the hip, is the kind of courage mm. that uh, Gord Downey's showing. And uh, I think it's a celebration, uh, yeah. as long as they're in concert. Me too.